Okay, let's talk about this guy. Let's talk about this guy, Gold Star Gamer. So Gold Star Gamer uh, got reviewed on Kavos's uh, stream, and he's been complaining about it. Uh, and honestly, I saw his review live. It wasn't even that harsh. Let's actually review it real quick. Review the review, because I don't think it was that harsh. Uh, I have to find the exact timestamp. I was going to have all this ready beforehand, but my mic was kind of fucking up. Also, thank you guys so much for the hosts. Uh, I don't know if it's playing like a sound for it or something, but... <laughs> Bo saxophone. Anyways... Oh shit, we can't see the preview. Fuck, this is gonna take a while to scrub through. Uh, oh, here he, here he is. I just saw it, Mr. Gold Star Gamer. So let's check out what this review was, because I don't remember it being this harsh. So Mr. Gold Star Gamer has been in my mentions for the last three hours. I made this tweet at uh, 2.55 p.m. And if you can see in the bottom right-hand corner here, it says 7.05. So I made this at 3.00. And he was complaining a bit before then as well. That's why I made the tweet. And he's still in my notifications. He is still in my notifications. Here, four minutes ago, Mr. Gold Star Gamer. So he is bitching about this review that Cavos gave him. And according to him, uh, it was filled with hatred and bullshit. So let's review. I'm hunching over like a fucking hunchback. I need to <laughs> have better posture. Let's see what this review was. Also, Quentin... <laughs> Cavos follows Quentin Reviews. Oh no, someone retweeted Quentin Reviews. Anyways, let's listen to this. So, supporting the channel. Big up. Mr. Goldstar Gamer, here we are. Right on cue. <laughs> Gaming channel, of course. How could I have guessed? An epic gamer. Hey, we gotta support the epic gamers here, man. Go through your Twitter notifs. Yeah, I'm gonna go through my Twitter notifs and donate. We're doing both, all right? We're doing donations, Twitter, chat. So everyone gets to go. Everyone can submit. We're out here. We're having fun. Um, yeah. All right. So Mr. Goldstar Gamer, where can we start? With, first of all, the channel art. Every channel needs channel art. We need channel art to, you know, attract people. When I see this, let, if I be real with you, Goldstar Gamer, I'm thinking you did this on Microsoft Paint in 10 minutes. And if anything, it's just a typical... Gamer channel. I want to see something. I, I enjoy colorful things. I don't know why. Um, it's not everything, the channel art. You don't need good channel art to blow up. But I would say it helps. You know, just it looks nice. I feel like channel art is more like, for me anyway, channel art's always been a thing where it's me. I'm more proud of it than I care about people looking at it. Do you know what I mean? Hey, thank you so much for the 15 bits. Dude, channel art is not my strong suit at all. I've I was been very lucky with my channel art. Uh, someone named uh Gwala, who is now under the username Net News, who makes some pretty good uh drama videos on YouTube. Although I think he stopped uploading recently, he clips like obscure dramas. Uh, it's pretty useful. He made my channel art, and I'm very lucky for that. He also made my new icon. Uh, so shout out to him. Uh, but. The channel art has never been my strong suit. As you can see with, like, my Boblox Live channel, I just put, like, some fucking random shit. Either way, let's get back to the fucking review. So we can see exactly how harsh Kavos was. Thank you so much for the five bits. I mean, like, I, I want to make my channel look clean and cool and, like, presentable. And I think that's a good... That helps in the long run. I don't think the channel um, art for Mr. Goldstar you know, Gamer is bad, to be fair. You can't just have blow up like I think crazy. It's fine. Like, I don't really care that much about yeah. channel Anyway, art. GTA funny moments. Uh, this guy is living back in fucking 2015. Hey, let's take a trip back down. Let's jump in the time machine. Go back and watch some GTA funny moments with Mr. Goldstar Gamer. <laughs> He's stupid. You gotta donate Cavill's bank to get a 10. My one rule is that I cut, like, no matter if you donate or anything, I, uh, I'm not biased, uh, based on a donation or the sum or anything like this. It's all, uh, pretty, uh, pretty fair. <laughs> oh. Hey, thank you so much for, uh, gifting a sub to Augie. He should have been subbed, but thank you for, uh, picking up the slack and giving it to him. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot, Hexty. Uh, anyways, we're not going to be watching this for long. Maybe I should speed it up to 1.5 because I do want to talk. I love talking and I can't stand not being able to talk for that long. So let me, uh, let's just put on 1.25. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm going to be harsh. <laughs> 
I hate funny moments, okay? Because they're not funny. <laughs> funny moments, and I'm saying it's nine seconds into the video, just because we've tuned in, we've gone into the gaming video, and they're already laughing, and I don't know what- Do you mind if I ask for VIP since I'm a member? What do you mean VIP? Uh, there's a rule in my Discord called VIP, but it's, ju it's just a rule that I put on people so they can hop into live chat. So people like Augie have it, people like Tipster have it, so they don't have to ask me to drag them in. Um, so it's not really that special. Uh, but yeah. Thank you for being a member, though. I do appreciate it a lot. They're laughing about. What are you, what happened off camera that we didn't get to see? Will they explain it in the next few seconds? Maybe. But still... I'm already in the video and they're uh, pissing her pants. I... I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> where is he? Where is he? <laughs> right, What's man, up, bro? I got, a, I got a few clips. All right, I'm on back. All right, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on, bro. bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> see, I... Funny moments videos are... So hit or miss, man, because... I... Hmm. It, a new donate. Oh, man. I need to fucking fix this. Let's skip ahead a bit. I think that... Five. No! Don't kill the fuck! <laughs> no! God, no, give me my money! Give me my money! See that valid guy right here, bro? Yeah. He don't do shit. He doesn't. <laughs> this video Cavalus is reviewing is about as funny as a wheelchair ramp. It's not for everyone. I don't think it's the worst yeah, content out there, to be fair. Your job, man. I pay you so much money for nothing, man. What the fuck, man? Bobear, hey man, big fan. Oh. Hey, shout out Bo Blacks. <laughs> Dude, his reaction once he sees my name, he's like, oh, Bo Blacks brought you to the stream. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> I'm surprised someone actually mentioned uh, that I brought them there because uh, I just tweeted it out on a whim like, hey, look at the stream. Pretty cool. And then someone mentioned my name, so that's really cool. Bo Bear also got reviewed. His channel was actually good, by the way. Uh all right, we'll do, sir. All right, hold on, bro. Hold on, man. I'm about to world star this. What this motherfucker's trying to say, huh? Surprise, Fuck motherfucker. Oh, wow. Even the editing's 2016. Sorry, One, life. two, three, and to the four. Um, all right. Mr. Goldstar Gamer. Um, hmm. I do not enjoy this kind of content at all. And I don't feel like... It has came through the screen as well as I would like it to. I look. I don't like this kind of content. I don't find this funny. I don't like the editing. Is uh, I don't know, man. I I feel like funny moments are just outdated now. I don't know. Maybe there's man. Like, I don't watch Van, Van Vanos gaming and like, but I, I just feel like they're so outdated now and. GTA, I just, this doesn't appeal to me at all. Like, I don't find the skits you're trying to make funny at the moment. There could be funny ones in there. I'm not saying you're not funny, but I, like, really, like, what I've seen in the first 52 seconds. Okay, if I'm a normal viewer and I'm watching this, which I try to do, like, the first minute, I'm clicking off. Like, I'm not, I'm not staying around for the rest of it. And which is a shame because you might have good stuff. But I will never know now because I've got to the 52 seconds and I'm bored. Um, well, I mean, my advice for any gaming channel, if, like, you're looking to do it as a career, like, just, like, play more relevant games. Like, people, I don't think anyone, but I don't know the gaming industry to know that GTA is still, is, I know it's still relevant and people love the online still, but, like, I think you could do way better with a better game and better material and, like, better thumbnails. I mean, I don't know. I personally am not a massive, ma look at my... Fuck! I need to fix this shit. Um, Gold Star Gamer. I think you have a lot to improve on. Your channel's young. Um, very young. Man, two years ago? Damn, boy. You were youngin'. Um, I think just work on trending, more trending videos. Not trending videos, sorry. More relevant games. Uh, just my advice of funny moment things. I used to do gaming videos too. I'd like to think they were somewhat okay. Is like just record for like a whole day. Just playing normally with your mates. And then just take, actually take funny moments out of it rather than like just record a funny moments like montage. Like being, because you're going to hop on with your mates, but like, where's still funny moments? Because then you're really forcing the funny moments and it becomes not funny, in my opinion. So, uh, lots to improve. I mean, obviously, you can, I think you've got potential. I think, you know, 
But everyone has potential, just you have to learn and like, not everyone actually, that guy we looked at, that music video, man. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's with love. I give you this rating, my man, Mr. Goldstar Gamer, with love, um, but yeah. By the way, this graphic is great. I love this, I love this. Three out of 10. So that was his review of Mr. Goldstar Gamer. I, he, basically, I'm not a personal fan of the content. Um, and here's various things you could do to improve. Very great review. This is the great thing about Kavos' show. He doesn't just rip into people. He gives people constructive criticism. And uh, it's a great show. I love it. But Mr. Goldstar Gamer saw that, and this is his response. Why did you sh why did you show so much hatred to my YouTube channel on your YouTube channel review live stream? Why did you give my YouTube channel a three out of ten score? My YouTube channel uh, my YouTube channel cover photo was made in Photoshop, and I got the star background from Adobe After Effects. Uh, okay, I, I feel like he just misinterpreted Cavos's review, right? Because Cavos did mention that it was made in Photoshop, and he confirms it. I don't know why he would bring that up. Uh, Cavos is like, don't submit your channel at all if you don't, oh, uh, if all you want is to tell someone how good you are and blow smoke up your ass. I warn people before I'm honest and harsh, that's the appeal. And let's be honest, Cavos wasn't even that harsh. He said it wasn't personally for him, and there's a couple things he could do to improve. The only thing that was harsh was the number itself, arguably, because it's 30%, uh, essentially. Uh... How is showing your hatred to my YouTube channel being honest? Don't give me a bullshit reply. You even said that you hate the type of channel I make. You also said that you didn't find my skits funny when you said that you are, that you are not saying that I'm not funny. This Is this guy even like native English? Like does he even understand? Does he have a mental disability? I'm really confused to why he would think that's a negative thing that Cavo said, hey, you're not, it's not that you're not funny, I just don't like the content personally. How can you get that offended at that? <sighs> then he comes into my DMs. Bo Blacks, can I talk to you? Sure, what's up? Can I talk to you on Discord real quick? Cavos did me dirty as fuck on a live stream yesterday and today. You asked him to review you, bro. Bo Blacks, wow, you did me dirty too. And then uh, he has a new story for Keemstar. Hey, Keemstar, Cavos reviewed my channel. <laughs> Talk about it on Drama Alert. And um, the best part about this is that there's an old tweet from Mr. Goldstar Gamer. And it's in reply to a tweet that says, So what's better, lie to avoid hurting someone's feelings or to be honest if feelings might get hurt? Or even if feelings might get hurt. And he says, being honest is better. But that's exactly what Cavos did. And you're fucking complaining up a storm, dude. Like, if we just go to his, um, if we go to his Twitter, uh, or even if we go to my mentions, it's like everywhere. Hell yeah, the fucking Keemstar meme, I love that shit. Uh, hell yeah, thank you guys for shouting out my Twitch, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and commenting and being here. Um, oh, here he is. Mr. Goldstar Gamer tweets and replies. One minute ago, oh, one minute ago, four minutes ago, six minutes ago, seven minutes ago, seven minutes ago, eleven minutes ago, sixteen minutes ago. Five hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago. He's fucking... Over a review like that, like, holy fucking shit. What do you even post here? Dude, Cavos is still replying to this guy? Are you serious? I used to do gaming videos too. I'd like to think they were somewhat okay. I Dude, Cavos is ripping him a new one. My gaming videos are t 1,000 times better than yours. Oh my god. So yeah, there's a bunch of banter going on. I was going to make a Twitter video on this, but there's just so much at this point. I feel like it would be better to go over and live stream. But even now, I'm like getting a fucking headache trying to think about how like retarded this guy is. Because... The thing is, I only watched the review live, so I assumed it was more harsh than it actually was. And now that I know it's not that harsh, like, holy shit, I'm losing brain cells reading this. What do you guys think? Let me, 
Let me read the chat real quick. Kind of been ignoring it, trying to uh, explain some stuff. Uh, he's spurging out. He has nothing better to do. Spazzing intensifies. Uh, I think he's Hispanic. Uh, Cavos, I know you're jealous of my YouTube channel, but you're not the voice of the human race. You have a massive ego. Ever since Keemstar promoted you, pathetic, you're punching down on a small YouTube channel that uploads quality content that some people enjoy laughing my ass off. He actually said this? God. Yeah, he said with love, Augie, you're 100% right, man. He said with love. Quality content. Dude, like, how can you... He even has a sub count as his banner, dude. Friend, friendly, funny, honest person, and underrated YouTuber. He has subscribe in his in his icon. Funny moments. You know your moments are funny when you have to say they're funny in the title. His review of the zero out of uh, ten channel with one animation thing was more harsh than the gold star review. Exactly, gold star gamer. Let me see. Oh my god. I know my show's name is Make or Break, but I didn't expect to have someone have a mental breakdown over my ratings already. Fucking lol. Will willingly donated for a review on stream, and I didn't enjoy his content. Now he's losing his mind. I just check his tweets and he's... Uh, and he, he is losing his mind. This is what started it. Here's my donation... Uh, here's his donation. I guess he will take that thank you in advance back. <laughs> Hi, Kavos. Can you review my latest videos on my YouTube channel and give me some feedback? Thank you in advance. And give you some feedback. He gave you feedback and you're fucking pissed. Jesus Christ, man. He genuinely thinks, uh, God... <laughs> he genuinely thinks he's God's gift to YouTube. And I think he's in shock of how bad a score I gave him. 3 out of 10. Read his tweets and how good, uh, and how good he keeps telling everyone he is. It wasn't criticism, Cavos. Just showing, just showed hatred to my channel because his gaming videos weren't good. He even admitted that his gaming videos weren't good. My video, my gaming videos are good. Laughing my fucking ass off. Thank you so much for the 15 bits, man. Cavos, you showed hate and roasted everything about my YouTube channel. Just because your gaming videos aren't as good as mine. You even said in your own words, I wish I could say my videos are somewhat okay. So you basically roasted me for having a gaming channel. All I got all the clips. Oh boy. How delusional are you to suck up to Cavos just because he has a big channel? That's, that's a low man laughing my fucking ass off. Cavos started hating on my gaming channel just because his doesn't have good gaming videos. He was jealous by my channel. It's obvious. That's why he acted the way he acted. Laughing my fucking ass off. You see how ridiculous this sounds when I read it out in a monotone way? It's partially why I read the stuff I read uh, in the way I do on my YouTube videos. So people can just realize how fucking stupid they sound. Uh, he literally tweeted this, point proven. Cavos, <laughs> I know you're jealous of my YouTube channel, but, but you're not the voice of the human race. You have a massive ego ever since Keemstar promoted you. Pathetic. You're punching down on a small channel that uploads quality content that some people enjoy. Laughing my fucking ass off. Dude's PewDiePie in his own mind. I know. Man's deluded. Oh my god. That is so fucking funny. There is so much discussion surrounding this. I want to make a Twitter versus video on it, but there's just too many tweets. There's honestly too many tweets now. It's getting to be ridiculous between Cavos and him. It's going to be like a 30 minute video. I don't know if I want to make something like that. Would you guys be interested in seeing a uh, Twitter versus video on this? I'm curious. Oh, we have some Ricky Berwick replies. Sorry for the spam. And see who breaks next. Make her break down. <laughs> nah, nah. Do it. No, yes. He's doing this for attention. He's already got attention on Cavus' uh, Twitter. It doesn't matter. Like. Review my channel. <laughs> fucking Ricky. 
don't give him attention to it or versus video, it's probably not worth it. Well, I'm not going to put his username in the in the title. I just want to know if you guys think it'd be funny or not. Not that, not to worry about the repercussions of what attention he might get. I mean, he's stupid. He's not, even if he does get attention, he's not going to utilize it in a good way. He's just going to dig himself a hole uh, in terms of reputation. God. That is so funny. He replied to Cavalus' latest tweet. Okay, let's see. You're going to have another mental breakdown tomorrow. Typical Cavos. <laughs> the truth hurts. Wait. He seriously just said the truth hurts to someone. Oh my god. I already stated the facts about what Cavos did. I know it's hard to believe, but the truth hurts. Left my fucking ass off. Holy shit. This is so fucking funny. Honestly, I'm kind of tired of it though because it's been it's it's been happening for three fucking hours, man. Three hours. That's insane. He he tried to charge him back, but you said during the stream there'd be no refunds. I agree, dude. Cavos ripped into him on his new stream though. He came into the chat complaining, and Cavos gave him like a 0 out of 10, called him a bitch. It was fucking funny. I love Cavos' make or break streams, man. They are so entertaining. Just because they have like that uh, feeling of community and people coming together. Uh, and just like giving advice on YouTube and shit. It really feels uh, cool to have like a, the small commentator community or the small YouTuber community congregate in one live stream to have their stuff shown off. Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't really happen that often. I mean, other YouTubers have tried to do shows like this, but um, it doesn't really happen as much as it should, in my opinion. Let me continue reading the chat. Uh, he seems pretty boring and redundant, to be honest. Yeah, if I made a Twitter versus on this, uh, it would probably get really redundant. Bro, I bet, he, I bet he'll do a comment, a, com bleh, a commentary style video on all of this. Yeah, he probably he might. He probably would, actually. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he's trying to, like, play all of this up to get a lot of attention and then to make a commentary video on it to say he trolled everybody to get views or something. Uh, but I don't know if he's that smart. Honestly, this is one of the pitfalls of being a small YouTuber with a big ego sensitive to criticism. Thank God I'm a microscopic YouTuber slash streamer. And uh, <laughs> self-loathing and said, nah, you shouldn't be self-loathing, dude. Uh, everybody starts out uh, not the greatest and you learn over time that happens with every uh, skill uh, I mean I wasn't the greatest when I started out I can show you some videos that I made uh, a couple years ago uh, or like five years ago eight years ago they were really bad uh, as a gaming channel myself if someone hates my videos and tries to give criticism then I will listen to that and try to make uh, my videos better not complain about it on Twitter and make myself look like an idiot. Exactly. Many people have actually been who've gotten low scores from Cavos have actually been trying to uh, improve their channel. Like I've been seeing them talk about like, thank you, Cavos, for giving me the advice and shit like that. Cavos is very nice with his reviews. Like he isn't, he doesn't beat around the bush, but he isn't like super harsh in my opinion. Uh, just like you saw that review that he did to um, Mr. Gold Gamer it was very uh, tame. He said, with love, I give you a three and... I don't like this content personally. Here's a couple things I would do to fix it. Uh, it was very, very nice. Uh, better to have your ego squashed now, exactly. I hope his ego actually does get squashed, but he seems pretty stubborn. He's still complaining about it to this day. Uh, Cavus' streams are great. The guys who featured today, uh, Melon and Terra, were awesome. Yeah, they were. I like those channels a lot. Uh, and it's a good stream to watch too because it finds uh I get to find more uh YouTubers that I personally want to watch because I like watching small YouTubers you know they're just as good as the bigger ones they just haven't uh been doing it for as long or haven't gotten noticed or something like that uh, there's a lot of good small YouTubers uh, and I'm glad to discover more through uh Cavus's stream uh, he should be grateful that he even got feedback I agree uh, the intention will be bad for his videos. 
Uh, his videos are getting disliked a lot. Yeah, he's shooting himself in the foot for sure. Cavos doing channel reviews is different than most because he's a million sub channel, whereas most everyone else has been smaller, not as relevant. He won't get your name out there. Yeah, exactly. Also, uh, Cavos has this nice balance of like, um, uh, he's a big channel, so he has a lot of, uh, he has a lot of experience, but he's streaming this on a small channel. So the people who are in the chat, it's only about like 60 people, 100 people. So it's manageable and he can actually get to reviewing everybody. Uh, but he actually does have that experience of being a million sub YouTuber. Uh, so it's nice that the streams are low viewer and then the rest of his stuff is high viewership because then he can actually see all the channels. Uh, I think if you make a video, people will probably witch hunt him. Not going to lie. That's true. I don't want people to witch hunt anybody. Uh, he'll, uh, hell I've been on Twitch for two years now and I'm just under 700 followers. Uh, I know one day if I keep, uh, I keep at it, good things will happen for sure, man. Just keep going at it. I've been at this for eight years and I've just only recently got a bigger success. So definitely keep at it. Uh, he gave me a six out of 10. I'm still looking to get better lol. Yeah. Even if he gives people a higher rating, he still gives some good constructive criticism. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate the advice. It really helps. Yeah. See, everybody likes this. Uh, thing that Cavus is doing. It's actually kind of funny that Cavus has actually literally bro broken someone on make or break because I feel like it adds some interesting lore to it. Like now Mr. Gold Gamer is going to be like, I don't know, the villain of make or break. It's kind of funny. Uh, he uses a thumbnail pack. <laughs> uh, should I ask to review again in a couple months? Because now uh, he scores. I'd like to see... Uh, I liked him to I like him to see me apply his uh, see me apply his advice. He did give you some advice. He just didn't give you a score. You could ask him in chat, like, "Hey, what would you score me if you had to?" Uh, based off how he was talking about you, Cisco, I think he would give you at least a six. Uh, that would be my opinion on what he would give you. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for only one year, and I have uh, twenty nine subs. I've started making review slash commentary like videos and they've been doing great. That's great, dude. That's awesome. It's always really uh it's always really fun to see something you make uh, pop off. And if if you're not uh satisfied with the amount of views any of you are getting, if you guys are aspiring YouTubers, just always experiment and keep doing uh different things and just do whatever comes to mind. Don't try to like don't try to stick to a formula if the formula haven't hasn't been proven successful yet. Just do whatever. Like even me as a bigger YouTuber, I'm gonna I'm still like experimenting with different types of videos. Like for example, if you go to my channel, um if I wanted to keep doing what was successful, you know, I'd keep making stuff like uh Twitter versus Alinity, Twitter versus Eagle Raptor, Twitter versus Brook Houts. And I am still doing stuff like that, but I'm also uh, branching out, like uh, covering the McJuggernuggets thread, or talking about James Charles' ass, or talking about the Sonic Tuber drama, which really isn't big. Uh, and I'm just trying out different stuff, so, you know. <laughs> if the formula doesn't work, change the formula. Exactly. New tweet from Cavos. Let's see it. Uh, the man is refunding his donation to my stream, asked for a channel review because he didn't like... Because I didn't like his content, he's charging back the donation. You were literally crying over $5. Holy shit. That is so funny. Fucking Cavos. Cavos is putting this man on blast, dude. He should have just shut the fuck up. He's literally been spamming me and Cavos' uh, messages. Some of the stuff he said is, like, completely insane as well. Uh, let me, let me scroll down. Oh, it caps off here. Let me go to his Twitter. Some of the stuff he said to me in particular, let me. Wait, really? What the hell? Why did he... Oh, this was a long time ago. Where is his reply to me? <laughs> Cavos, looking for help. How pathetic. Especially coming from a big YouTuber like him, laughing my ass off. Him posting a reply showing that 
he posted in his chat, enjoy your YouTube channel while you can, because this isn't over. In reply to my tweet, God. He's saying that Kavos is coming to me begging for my help, yet Kavos doesn't even follow me, so we can't DM. Meanwhile, he DM'd me asking for help against Kavos. That's pretty funny. Kavos, you messed up. Admit it. You responded in an immature way on your live stream by ranking my channel from 3 to 0, then cussing me out. That means you clearly can't stand my question on Twitter, so you muted me. That's low, man. You have so much hatred in your heart. I actually responded to this one in a quote tweet, and I'm like, don't send your channel for review if you weren't comfortable with the possibility of getting a low score. So fucking stupid, dude. The Sonic Tuber stuff was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's definitely something I uh, enjoy doing a lot, um, but it's not like a trending topic, so I'm always worried about how it will do. Uh, I don't know what it is, but small time drama is always fascinating because it comes off as so petty exactly. It's kind of why I want, to, I like to cover small drama and why I even considered covering this drama for a video and why I do the Sonic drama. Um, but you got to be really careful with the small dramas you pick. Because you don't want to punch down or like witch hunt anybody. And there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. I also think Madame on her rant video used gameplay by somebody else as her background. By the way, guys, I have a podcast. Um, yeah, Madame was interesting. Uh, I was thinking of making a video on it. There wasn't much Twitter discussion, but there was a lot of discussion in her comment section. So I was thinking of doing a video recapping some of that. Um, but I don't know. It's been a while, so I'm not really eager to get on that. Um, I enjoyed Sonic because Bo Black's talk about pedophiles. What the fuck? <laughs> My videos used to get 1 to 5 views, but now they get 10 to 30 views, and one of them almost has 1.5k views. Congratulations, dude. Uh, this dude just needs to suck it up and change for the better. Exactly, man. You gotta take criticism. Criticism is so important. I take criticism uh, very seriously, uh, and I don't—I mean, I don't follow advice one to one all the time. Uh, but people's opinions, especially about your YouTube channel, is always important, no matter where they came from. Like, if it comes from a viewer, you know, uh, you have a better understanding of what the viewer might want. If it comes from another creator, you can get uh, the understanding from that perspective and. Uh, criticism and advice is always great. You don't act on it 100% of the time because obviously uh, not everything. Uh, people don't know you, so you don't know what would work best for you, but criticism is definitely uh, something that is good, not bad. A big threat from someone coming with 300 subs, yeah. A video was great. I enjoyed taking part in it. Hell yeah, Cisco. That was, that was fun. Uh, the Madame drama came and went so fast I forgot about it. Hey, what's up, Tom Solo? How you doing? Okay, another Kavos tweet. Um, oh, God. Okay, Habana Bay. Okay, I, I want to honestly ask, Mr. Gold Star Gamer, what should Kavos have said to you instead? Or what were you expecting him to say? How should he actually reacted? Uh, I'd like to know, as you keep saying he hated it and he's jealous. There must be more. Uh, I already stated the facts about what Kavos did. I know it's hard to believe, but the truth hurts. That's not my question. My question is, what were you expecting him to say about your content? And how did you think he should have reacted? He shouldn't have reacted with hatred. That's where he showed his true colors. <laughs> so, be, so to be clear, you were only asking for your money back, which he said on stream he would not do. And making such a ruckus by going to Keem, Boblax, etc. is because he reacted negatively. So if I ever donate to you and don't like a video... I can get a refund. Kavos is crying over $5. Pathetic. If it's only $5, why would you want it back? Why do you care? Why do you, why do you care? It has nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. Look, man. Honestly, just chill out and get off social media for a bit. It's clearly a lot for you, and you have made everything so much worse by how you've reacted. Just chill. Dude, 100%, man. He shouldn't have replied so much. Like, I'm getting a headache reading some of this shit, dude. Uh, I just came to the stream 
are we going to get a video on this or um i'm not sure yet i don't know if you guys would want a video on this i asked the chat earlier it seemed like they didn't really want a video on this um so i'm just kind of reading it out on stream because it's been spammed in my mentions like this guy's been talking for like so long so like if i did make a video it would be a very long video i really don't know if i want to make one or not but it's up to you dude guys uh maybe upload this as a vod yeah this will definitely be as a, a vod um so all my streams are actually uploaded as a vod on this channel bow black stream archive not a lot of people know about it um but you can just type in youtube.com slash bow uh and there will be the bow black stream archive with all the streams i've ever done i've been playing spyro recently legend of zelda uh, I did some Sonic races with Augie, uh, and I have streams that go back for years, so, yeah. But I'm going to have everything re-uploaded here uh, for my Twitch stream. And I'm also going to be trying to stream every day starting at 7. So, if you guys want to know when I go live, that's when I go live. Uh, we'll be playing games, we'll be talking, we'll be doing whatever. Uh... What are your tips for unscripted commentary? It seems like a uh, gold star gamer needs it. Unscripted commentary. Uh, actually, what might be uh, interesting to some of you guys is that none of my videos are scripted. All of them are unscripted. Just me talking off the cuff and then editing it down and obviously like re-recording some parts to say some things better. But uh, nothing I make is scripted, uh, which may be surprising to some of you guys, but it's just how I do it. 